Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you how you can, can configure a task to ignore a checkpoint file that your package may be using. I've got a package here that has got three tasks in it. Um, task 1, as you can see, is set to succeed. Task 2 is set, uh, set to fail, and I'll just confirm that to you. If I go into design scripts, it'll bring up the script, and you can see that I've got that thing set to fail. Okay. I've also got a checkpoint file set up for my package, as you can see in the bottom corner here. If I expand that out a bit, you'll be able to see that I'm actually dropping a checkpoint file into uh, a folder that I've created there. I've got checkpoint usage set to if exists, which means that if the checkpoint file is there, it will use it. And I've got save checkpoints equals true. Okay, so let's see what happens when I run this thing. Task 1 succeeds, task 2 fails, as we expect. So I'll stop that, I'll go over to my folder, and sure enough we've got a checkpoint file. If I execute again, you see that we, activity starts from, text to, from task 2. But that's not what we want. We want task 1 to execute again, regardless of the checkpoint file. So how do we do it? It's actually quite easy. What we'll do is we'll drag on a for each loop container. Done that. I'll take these three tasks. I'll drag them in. There we go. Now we only want to execute this for each loop container once. So if I double click to set it up, go into the collection, set my enumerator to be item enumerator, set up the columns. I'm just going to have one very simple integer column. There it is. Just put one value in there. And what that's going to do is make sure that this for each loop container only actually executes once. There we go. I need to configure the for each loop container by setting fail package on failure equals true. And then I go into each one of these tasks. And I want to set, set fail package on failure equals false but I want them to fail the parents, which is a for each loop container, if they fail, of course. So I'll set that to true. I'll do the same for the second one. Fail package fail on failure equals false. So parent on failure equals true. OK. I'll get rid of my checkpoint file. That's gone. Switch back. Let's execute the package. Sure enough, as before, task 2 fails. Let's stop it. Let's go and check the checkpoint file. It is indeed there. We'll go back and re-execute, and this time you should see that task 1 will actually execute. Here we go. Okay, so task 1 is executed. It's gone green. Task 2 has failed again. That's exactly the activity we wanted. Hope that helps you. That's the end. Thanks for watching.